Hello. It's been a while since I said hello, and uh, usually I don't post anything unless I have something to say. Well, I have something to say. I'm going to do a review today, and it's of this kava called Halamanga Ono, and it's a kava tonga, and um, I got it from a guy off of the kava forums. Uh, people were trying it and saying it was nice, and so I thought I'd get some. I bought a kilo and then dried it out and bought another five kilograms. And uh, I'm going to make some right now, and while I'm making it, I'll tell you about it. So, just to give you the unpackaging, uh, I ordered it over the internet, and I used um, PayPal, I think. Anyway, it, it went very smoothly. Uh, the package arrived perfectly packaged in both cases, and uh, very quickly. Certainly no complaints in that regard. He's a straight-up businessman. So the first thing you notice when you open it is that really, really fine powdery, proper powdery grind that you're going to expect from a Kabatonga, and this does not disappoint. It looks just a shade darker. Uh, I don't know if the light here is good. It's just a shade darker, but you see that, I mean, fluffy thing. When you go like that, there should be little clouds of uh, micro, and, and that's what I'm getting here, and you could, you know, you could inhale it, and it would be wonderful all day long but this stuff I'm gonna make and I'm going to use a big jar and a bag I'm going to throw in about a cup into this half gallon mason jar mm. looks nice huh Throw that in there. Again, you know, I'm going to drink it one way or another because after I make my two or two and a half washes uh, like this, I'm going to put it in the freezer and join it up with other similar bags and thaw them out and, and make them like mongrel grog. So, you know, I don't really worry about the measurements that much. This is a rough measurement. Basically, I'm making what would be a strong, ooh, ooh, nice little cloud there. It's a strong um, prep this way. And I'm only going to shake it for a, a matter of a brief moment. Here we go. Four cups of water or a liter, whatever you prefer. It's all the same. So anyway, I've been drinking this for about a month and been putting it through its paces. Uh, it's sold at a price which is roughly the same as what I used to pay for very pedestrian kava tangas, which were fine. Um, I was using them for mixing uh, because I'm very fond of blending kava tonga half and half with a good strong Fijian waka. Like squanch. Or, you know, many other excellent ones. Especially for um, drinking kava during the day. That makes for a very pleasing blend. So anyway, I have here... <laughs> You'd think I'd prepare, but like I say, I don't really have much to say very often. So anyway, um, what I have here is a bag ready to go. And already you can see, I haven't even shaken it, and it looks like grog. That's because there is so much free-floating micro in this particular grind, which is the kind of medium grind you expect from a kavatanga, and it, it really goes well. It gives it that creaminess that you expect from a kavatanga, and this does not disappoint. But as you can see, I'm shaking it. It's not like super light. It's not super dark, but it has definitely dark overtones. Now, I don't know if that's the particular way they blended um, the the corn with with the roots but I'm not sure so anyway doesn't matter at this point that's just a tiny bit of shaking and that's my phone ha, just kidding that was the oven wasn't it so anyway I'm going to take this quantity I don't know, about 300 milliliters, 250 milliliters, something like that. 
and uh, have a go. The flavor is excellent. It's, you know, it's got the creaminess of a kabatanga, but it's also heavy. And this is what I experienced um, in, in trying it out over the past month, is that uh, if you want to go for the notorious kabatanga euphoria, you can do it, but you have to make it at the appropriate strength. You're not going to get it at you know, lower strengths. But for regular strength drinking, what you're getting is a slightly heavier kabatanga, but it's clearly superior to other kabatangas that sell at the same price, um, which is why I, I, I bought you know a fair bit of it. It's delicious, and uh, it's pretty nice. I think I'm gonna have just a little bit more. Um, it's quite Moorish. Uh, it's it's stronger than you expect from a kabatanga. It, it tastes stronger and it feels stronger. So it's got much more of uh, a, a, a really good balanced effect that you would affect, expect more from, you know, a Waka heavy blend. Yeah, you know, for the, especially for the price point, but also just as, as a kabatanga, you know, that you'd want to buy and drink regardless of the price. It's a, it's a really good, good, but it's, you know, as I say, it's a kabatanga. You, you want to be in the kabatanga. If, if that's what you like, you're going to really quite like this. So anyway, I hope you are uh, very well. I'm quite well, as you can see, uh, and looking forward to seeing you again soon. Um, all the best. Take care. And uh, I love you all. You know that. Okay. Be good. Bye-bye.